What is going on, guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, a.k.a. The Clock Master. I'm here with... Captain... Fi oh. Hmm. So... Uh, too cheesy. Summer Soldier, too cheesy? Yeah, it's too cheesy. You just say Summer Soldier? That's too cheesy. We're not even going to acknowledge that. <laughs> too cheesy. Too cheesy. Too cheesy. This man said Summer Soldier. <laughs> I can't take Struggle Soldier because, you know, that's, um, that's, that's taken. Already, that's already taken. It's already taken. The struggle Soldier's already taken, bro. So, I, I, I'm out of options. I'm sorry. The man said Summer Soldier. I'm out of options. Really? I'm out of options. It's Summer Soldier. <laughs> get, a little, get a little SS on here, on the chest. SS on the chest? Come on, oh man. Captain Phil, man. If y'all don't know Captain Phil, is the homie. He's been the homie, bruh. We've been doing these videos, man. Um, and we're here to talk about Marvel Studios, bruh. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War in this video. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it's going to be long. We're going to do a breakdown. We're going to watch the trailer again. We're going to talk about it. We're gonna just talk about, share all our opinions, all the theories. Where's the Soul Stone? Who's gonna die? What's happening? The whole Thanos and Captain uh, Captain America thing, because there's a lot of controversy around it. A lot of people are are either upset that Captain America was holding Thanos' hand, or a lot of people like me was excited to see that scene. So if y'all haven't seen my reaction, go check it out. It's hype as heck, and I'm still hype. We bought, you know, go watch it, then come back and watch this. Subscribe if you need the channel. On all the recent subscribers, I gained like over two, nearly 300 subscribers in the span of one day, bro. Woo, we lit. So that is crazy. Well, you lit. You guys. No, nah, we lit, bro. <laughs> this is the whole family. Thank you guys so much for all the recent subs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is for you guys. Um, Anyway, you, you ready to check this thing out, bro? I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Kevin Phil, plug ready. up your channel, bro. Plug up. Plug up. Oh, man. My plug, channel? Plug oh, it up, bro. Oh, my gosh. Captain Phil Effects. Uh, I the only thing I'm missing is a uh, microphone. Yeah, cause I've been tamper. I got like the uh, Elgato, so I've been tampering with that and you know syncing it with my um, gameplay that is non-existent. But <laughs> hey, you got you got Uncharted, bro. You good? I you got, got Uncharted. Uncharted. You got like you I know. Got, I don't know. I might use Destiny videos to explain what's going on with the channel. Um, I still got Ghost Recon. I could do that, and other yeah, Call of Duty. I it's a work in progress, but he's, work po in progress. He, he's posting stuff. Work in progress. Every now and again, when you get a chance, you know, this man's acting. You know, he's in school. He's yeah. working. You know, so he's putting Musical. in that grind. You know what I'm saying? So he'll upload when you get a chance, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, bro. So we're here to check this thing out. Avengers: Infinity War. We gotta watch it again. Let's go. All right, let's get this thing going, man. We talked enough about this. Let's just watch. Let's go. Big screen this right quick. Hey. So we'll watch it once, then we'll watch it. The all. entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the infinity stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. <laughs> Tell me his name again. Thanos. I'm ready. <laughs> yes. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. Woo! Woo! We <laughs> have what Thanos wants. So that's what we we'll use. Yes. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Peter Quill. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I can't wait. Ooh! The end is near. When I'm done, Mora. half of humanity still exist. Oh, I'm ready! Ah! <laughs> Perfectly bounced. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I just this realized I was talking to help him out right there. Yeah. I hope they remember you. <laughs> That's it! I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. <laughs> Spidey. Kill him with that. Kill him with that Spidey. Man, 
technically, technically, Doctor Strange is not his made up name. Yeah, it's not. It's not. He is Doctor Stephen Strange. Yeah. So technically, Mister Doctor, Mister, it's <laughs> Mr. Doctor, Mister Mr. Mr. Doctor, Doctor. <laughs> it's Strange. Wait, hold up. I want to address the snapping. Let me let me go. Let me see if I can find my Infinity Gauntlet uh, comic book real quick. Yeah, man. So, okay. So so let me find let me find the page. Um actually Infinity Gauntlet comic book. Alright. Very awesome. Masterful. In the beginning, you actually see Well, I don't think it was the beginning. I think it was um Was it the beginning? I can't remember. I gotta find it. I'm trying to find the actual page where it happens. Where he snaps and that was it. That's actually directly from the comic book. Thanos snapped. That's Nebula. He jacked the mess out of her. Um, yep. Literally. He had all the all the books, all the stones, snapped. The entire place started to disappear. Literally, that happened right in the comic books. That's a comic book thing right there. Where Thanos, well, you can't really see it, but it's right here. Right? Thanos snapped. Thanos snapped like that. And half of the universe was gone. So, when Gamora was in the beginning, she was talking about that. That is such an awesome Easter egg. And I hope they actually do it in this movie. Where he snaps. And people are gone. And I heard a theory. I heard an interesting theory. Because you know how, uh, from another YouTuber, they were saying how uh, Marvel is good at like masking out... Um, Details, like, for instance, like, Thor's eye was gone in the Thor right. Ragnarok trailer, but mm -hmm. we didn't know that until we saw the movie, because remember, we saw both eyes, but in right. the movie, it was only one that was glowing. Exactly. They're saying, what if Thanos already has all the stones, but he's, they're only making us believe he only has two, when technically he has the other three. Right. Uh, uh, four. Four. Yeah, four. Right? Technically, he has the other four, and it's CGI'd it out, or maybe he has three and missing one, the soul stone, that big one. Because apparently I know, I, I've heard of this, that like, um, you can't wield the soul stone without having the other stones. Okay. Because it's that powerful. It's the biggest one in the back. So like, if you have all the other stones, all four, I mean all five, and then you put the soul stone in last, then you could be able to wield it. But you can't put the soul stone in first and then put the rest because it's not going to work. So, I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Let, let's watch him break down. Let's watch him break down. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To wipe out half the universe. If he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. I just like that they used the snapping and showed it. I just love that they did that. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Didn't you think it was cool? That um, Thanos, just the fact that Iron Man is just talking to Gamora. Mm -hmm. Tell me his name again. Yeah. Because <laughs> I bet you Tony Stark is going to say something so comedic after that. Like, th th what? Thanos? Thanos. Are you sure that's really his name? <laughs> Gamora's going to be like, come on, like I'm being serious. That's his name. Mm -hmm. You sure, though? <laughs> like, Tony Stark is a guy like to not take people serious until he sees it happen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He might pull off the same thing. Remember in Avengers 1 where he's like, we just met Thor and he's yeah. like Shakespeare in the park? Yeah. He's he's going to say something along those lines. Mm -hmm. Something similar to that. He's going to say something he stupid. When Thanos. Exactly. Because everybody, he's going to underestimate, like in, in Tony's eyes, there ain't nobody that could be him really. Nope. Until you meet Thanos. Uh -huh. Thanos will body the mess out of you. <laughs> Thanos is past. It's another thing. First of all, how ain't nobody? How ain't nobody see Tony? Exactly. How ain't nobody see Spot to Peter Parker go out go out the, the window, window or like the emergency exit at the top of the bus? I yeah, guarantee out the you, I guarantee it's right there. Ain't nobody seeing this. Ain't nobody on the bus sees this man get out the window. Get out the window. Unless you know, he's on the opposite side when they're yeah, looking. But you're not gonna feel a. 
that's true if they're all looking on one side. But they're not going to notice that, hey, where's Pete? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, they're definitely. Why is the window, yeah, why is the windows open? Isn't there a draft in this bus now? What the hell is happening? Uh-huh. How ain't nobody know this? this is going hot? Like, come wow. on. We got one advantage. He's coming to us. This scene. This scene. Oh, my oh gosh. My goodness. That reminds me of something in the comic books. Actually, believe it or not, they actually co- uh, copied a lot of the comic of the Infinity Gauntlet uh, comic book because that actually reminded me when I was reading. And uh, Tony, he flew up. And he flew up to see what was going on. And kind of reminded me of this. Like, that scene right here where he had, like, the extra super stuff. It kind of reminded yeah. me of that. You see that? It kind of reminded me of this, guys. So, it kind of reminded me of that when I saw that. But that's, that part had me hyped. This man put both like, feet on. I was like, I was like whoa! <laughs> right? <laughs> Bruh. But, but his, I, I love his new suit, though. I love his suit in this one. Because, I don't, and plus it's a, nano, it's a nanotech suit, too. Yeah. It looks like if that's what the suit that he'll be wearing for the entire movie, though. Probably. That's what it looks like. Because even in, in the Wakanda scenes or wherever they're fighting at the end, it looks like if that's the only suit he's wearing. We have what Thanos wants. So that's what we use. We have what Thanos wants. What do you think about that line? What do you think about it? 100%. I'm, I'm thinking... At first, I'm thinking, like, the Soul Stone. Yeah. But it's, like, he could be just talking about, like, the other stones in general. Mm-hmm. Cause, yeah, because they haven't showed us that all of, uh, you know, Vision, Doctor Strange has the other two in that scene. We don't know. Exactly. Obviously. But might be talking about the Soul Stone. It could be. They might be. Because, well, obviously it might be that, or it could be the, um... The fact that he has... Because remember, Vision got a stone, too. Yeah, the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone and Strange Doctor got Strange the, got the Time got, Stone. So we know that's two mm-hmm. already. All right? So still it unclear, could be that. Still unclear where the Soul Stone is. Exactly. Wait. Does the Collector still have the Reality Stone? <sighs> I can't remember what happened. The last time I checked, he still had it. Because in Dark World, um, Volstag and, and Sif, I believe... Gave the yeah gave the stone to the collector. Well, in, in Guardians we, in Guardians we saw that. Um, but that was the power no, stone. No, 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 no. But that was the power stone, right? Yeah, that was the power mm. stone. They didn't show because the reality. What stone are the two there. stones that Thanos does have currently? He has the uh, power stone, and he has the uh, the space stone. The space stone. So the reality stone, the mind stone, the time stone, and the soul stone. Those are the only ones he does not have yet, so far. Could they, could he, like, I don't know. He has this, he has the space, well, space stone because of Loki. Yeah. Um, That was a Tesseract, though, right? Yeah, that was a Tesseract. And now that they've shown the Power Stone, we know the Nova Core is, like, completely gone. Yeah, we already know the Nova Nova Core is, is, is gone. (laughs) <laughs> um, I don't know if they, like, edited out the uh, reality zone. They could have. Maybe. Because they have to put that in there at some, some point. Yeah, they, they they do need that. I don't think they would, like, save that for the next, like, whatever project. No, I think... By the end of this movie, I think Thanos will have every single stone. Because he has to, ha- he has to get all yeah. of them. He does. I mean, even in this comic, he has all of them. Right. So he has... He will... People, I'm like, it's crazy, it's like, these MCU, a lot of these MCU fanboys and stuff who don't really know too much about the comics and, like, the ones who just care about the comedy, they're like, oh, no, the Avengers, they're going to find a way to stop, prevent him from getting all the stones. Bro, what you talking about? Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Him and his army and his children, his children alone, that could be a movie. Like, right? His Come children on. alone, that could be a movie. So you, you saw it? Ebony Maw? Like, yeah. Shh. Ebony Maw. We're going to get to that. Oh, yeah. Ebony Maw, Proxima Midnight. We saw her in um in the uh, in the first, first trailer. trailer. Yeah. So, yo, Ebony Midnight. I mean, Ebony Maw was like, 
Yeah, bro. Like, sit down, be humble. He look like he look like a co- <laughs> like a man cosplaying to be Voldemort. Want to be Voldemort <laughs> real bad, bro. Like, <laughs> let's continue. But Wakanda, man, I'm oh, so man. glad they're revisiting Wakanda. So amazing. I believe the uh, the, the 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 boss battle, as I call it, is going to take place there. Obviously. Yeah. I feel the ending fight will be there. Bruh. To me, this is one of my best moments from this trailer is just seeing Cap and Black Widow just walk up to um those Kamoyo beads, bruh. Walk up to Black Panther like, hey, bruh. And then, and then Tatar is like, man, like, who, who else is there? Let's see. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Falcon. Yeah, Falcon, War Machine. War Machine. Hulk. Hulk Vision, Scarlet Witch. Yeah, Vision. Basically, the whole, the whole squad. Well, mm-hmm. half of the whole squad is there. Yeah. Pretty not everybody there. Pretty pretty much everybody. So what? How are they gonna explain that? I, but I don't think I don't think Captain I don't think Cap stayed. I just think he he went because remember at the end of Civil War he went to um he went to to bring Bucky. Yeah. Right. So I know he left Bucky there. I don't think he stayed. No, he didn't stay. I mean, I, I just think he left. But like, how are they gonna explain that? Because like in Civil War, these people were beefing. Yeah. Especially like Vision, War Machine, um, Black Widow. Not, I guess, not really. But like Vision and War Black Machine, Widow was they on were the fence, team. though. Yeah, yeah. I guess she's on the fence. But they were like Team Iron Man. Yeah. And War like War Machine too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And Hulk no- was nowhere in the picture. Yeah, and Hulk was in the picture. Well, we know how Hulk gets there. He falls out of the sky. Just so right. happens to fall in um, Doctor Strange house, and they replace Hulk with Silver Surfer, because in the comic books. Yeah, this dude literally made God out of planets. <laughs> like, that's how you know Thanos is not somebody you just mess with. Like, this dude took a whole bunch of planets and just made God. Like, technically, Silver Surfer, yeah, they're all the stone. Soul Stone, Mind Stone, Power Stone, Time Stone, Reality Stone, Space Stone, and Power Stone. I said Power Stone already, right? It doesn't matter. People get the point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just reading it to make sure I got it all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no so, technically... In this story, it was actually Silver Surfer who fell into Doctor Strange's house, not Hulk. Hulk was in a bar chilling. He really was. Like <laughs> honestly, he was at a bar just straight chilling. Um, so he was chilling there, and then I think because when I saw that, it immediately reminded me of this book that they, that they replaced Hulk. So you see, Doctor Strange is just chilling, mm-hmm. Wong, and then you hear a crack. And it was Silver Surfer that fell down. He was like, he's basically warning him that, like, yo, Thanos, like, he's coming, like, no. So, like, if you guys don't know the comics, it was, like, right there, Silver Surfer fell down. So, it reminded me in the first show when we, we saw Wong and Doctor Strange looking at Hulk, it reminded me of the Silver Surfer when he came in. But I just th- I think this is one of my favorite moments. I, I just think, like, them seeing each other again and that bond, because it reminded me of the comic books, too, Reginald Hudlin, where... Uh, T'Challa and Captain America does have a close relationship. They they right. do have a close friendship in the comic books. So it's just cool to see them like, hey, what's up, buddy? Like, how you doing? Like, welcome back, man. And like, just look, look how Black Widow just looking at Okoye. Like, I, nah, uh, they're going to bring that back. Move or you will be. That was moved. actually this one that said it. This one that said it. The one on the uh, AO. Or IO. That one. She on the right. She's so bad, bro. She was the one that was like, She's the one like move or you will be moved. Best one liner ever. What is this? What what is Shuri looking at? I've been trying to figure that out. Why did Loki look like why did Loki look like a Kree? That's, that's vision. But vision, the, yeah. Um, what if it's warlock? Bruh. Don't it's not, it's not right? It uh, looks like vision. Yeah. Cause I see like the stone at the top. Oh, okay. Well obviously she's there, so maybe vision is just, just chilling. Looking at him or whatever, Probably. but I'm, I'm glad they just threw Shuri in here because like, it makes it just makes people more hype because they just came off the Black Panther hype. So right. like, okay, let's throw Shuri in the shot because everybody loves Shuri now. So, yo, repping Guyana. Oh my, I can't wait for the Guardians to meet the Avengers. I'm oh not the only one hyped gosh. about this. Like, the Guardians meeting the Avengers, bro. This is going to be something. Do you think there will be like a little skirmish that they have? I would see no need for it, though, because remember, I, yeah, Thor, there's no Thor need, is chilling but... with them. 
Yeah, that's true, but still, like, I would like to see that. I'm pretty sure, like, these are my friends from work. Like, <laughs> like, leave them. Leave them be. But do you think Thor, do you think Thor will actually be fighting with them, though? Or do you think Thor is going to die? Or Loki is going to die? When we get to the scene, we'll talk about it. I'll, I'll bring out my theory. Where is this? Where is this taking place? Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's... I just thought this scene was <laughs> look so at, cool. Look at, look look at just like, I'm so face. done. Like, uh, who is this guy? Like, why are you... No. Uh, you got PhDs? No. No. Okay, then. No. <laughs> it's just like, he's like, let's talk about your plan. It's good, but it sucks. <laughs> it's plan. funny because they're both leaders. Exactly. So, like, they're going to butt heads They're going to butt heads so much. so much. Yes. Tony's suit is just sexy, bro. His suit... <laughs> bro, that's suit. It's good, except it sucks. So let. <laughs> I, go, I, like, I go both Peters and like. Do you think they'll have this, this joke where he's like, "Hey, I'm Pete." He's like, "No way, I'm Peter too." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it like a double Pete thing going on here? Yeah. <laughs> like I can totally see it. That suit. That Iron Spider suit. Oh my god. In the in like the final scene, I think they're gonna show. The extra, you know. Oh yeah, the 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 extra arms. Right. Oh my god, I can't wait for that. But did you see the toy that Tony Stark kind of had like the arms coming out too? Yeah. Bruh. Ooh, I can't wait. The suit looks so good. Let me do the plan, and that way it might be really good. Wow. <laughs> right. He's just is looking at him like, really? <laughs> just let me do the plan. I know this guy for five minutes. I know he's better at doing this than you are. Yeah, right? Jack's like, <laughs> come on. Do you have an iron suit? No. You have a, a, a nanobite, a nanotech helmet that, that you didn't even make. And two like, blasters. And two blasters. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't wait. God, bro, can't wait. Oh, the truth. Winter ready. Soldier's arm, bro. That new vibranium arm. Yep. My lord, got rid of that Soviet Soviet signal. Do you think that Hulk is in that Hulkbuster suit? Yes, definitely. You think Hulk is in it? Yeah. But then definitely. there was a scene where he was running towards in the first movie where he was running. I think that's. I think you're gonna see it later, later on. Um, when we go through like the uh, the trailer, I think you're gonna see why he turns into Hulk. Well, it kind of makes sense because like in the first trailer, we did see that um, uh, Bruce was kind of fixing or like his arm was next to the big Iron Man suit. So I don't know if he was kind of like configuring it or something. I don't know. But you I think th you think this is Hulk in here? You think this yeah, is Bruce I think Banner in there? I think Bruce Banner because. Um, Pretty much, well, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok, if you haven't seen it. But you should have seen he, it by now, come on. Yeah, you should have seen it by now, but, like, if you, if you recall, like, uh, Bruce saying, um, I don't want to go back to turning into a Hulk because I might yes, lose I myself may lose, again. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So he might be using the Hulk Buster yeah. for that, but. He's like, I, I want I want to fight, but not this way. Right. So I want to fight using this. And um, I think, like, later on in the trailer, you'll see why he turns into Hulk. I think so. Because, I mean, he can't die. I mean, not yeah, like, he not can't like die. that. Yeah, right. Not that way. You got a whole bunch of, um, of Thanos' army beating up on you to mm -hmm. the point where you're about to die. And Hulk kicks in like, Banner, no, die. Hulk, mm -hmm. live. <laughs> it's because it just knocks him out. I can see that. Like, I can see it. The end. Is near. I was looking to see if it was a hammer. They, they had the hammer. They just edited it they out. They just edited it out. Exactly, right? right? The hammer is definitely there. Hammer? I don't think it's Ultimate Millionaire. What if it is? What if? It wasn't a concept art, but I don't think they're going to give him Ultimate Millionaire. A boy, a boy could have his dream. Bro, if they give him Ultimate <laughs> Millionaire, if they give him Ultimate Millionaire, I would be done. I well, know, I know to, they well, definitely they edited it out. Well, they have to, like, like explain it, like, how he got it all of a sudden. Because, I mean, keep, keep in mind, though, like, remember, they set it up where Odin was like, bro, you don't need no hammer. Are you the god of hammers? No. You are the god of thunder or whatever. Right. And that was my horrible Anthony Hopkins impression. Don't judge me based <laughs> on that, okay? I did not prepare for it. Um, <laughs> but, 
I think I think he's I, I think I think the hammer is definitely there. Some hammer. If it's Ultimate Milner, I think it'd be dope though. They would have to have a really good explanation for that because Asgard is done. But we Ultimate Milner is not even on Asgard though. It's and well, in the comics, in the comic books, I know they're not following the uh, they're not following um, Unworthy Thor route, but in Unworthy comics, um, Ultimate Milner was actually in the, is was actually in the center of the collector's arena. Oh really? Yeah, and everybody was trying to get it. Hmm. But I don't think they're gonna do that though, because Ultimate Milner was on another planet in the wait in the comic books. So, in the collector's arena. Yeah. Might have to reach a little bit. Might have to reach a little bit. Why? 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 Before they might have to. Yeah, they're gonna. I don't know if they're gonna do do it with Collective. Remember, his whole establishment was destroyed. But he has the Reality Stone still in his possession, though. That we know of. Because we haven't seen it been moved. We haven't seen it I like, mean, in anybody else's possession. I'm pretty sure Thanos killed the Collector. I mean... Even though it's pretty daggone... Because this is probably the only issues I had with the MCU with dealing with the Collector and the Grandmaster. I don't like at all what they did with the Grandmaster yeah. in Thor Ragnarok. Because in, in Unworthy Thor, the Collector... Bruh, the collector was trashing Thor. He was, he is, he is, uh, uh, uh. He's Avengers villain, him, like himself. Exactly, but, but not just that, he's also a, I don't know, I don't want to say a celestial being, but he's one of the, he's one of the first beings in the universe. He is super strong, super old, has a whole bunch of unexplained power. Right. Super dope. Even the Grandmaster, the collector people, all of them, the whole family, all mm-hmm. of them. They are hard people to. They are. That's why they have so much respect because they're overpowered and super strong. And they can shoot like blasts. I remember one somebody was trying to beat up the collector in the comics, and he just touched them, and their whole body and the whole area exploded. Some anime stuff, bro. He just touched them. He was like, boop, boom. Like you don't want to mess with the collector. Yeah. So he's not like a singular hero like villain. He's like he a is sem- a- Avengers Assemble villain. Exactly. So, well, this is definitely in Wakanda. This is definitely in Wakanda. It has to be. What do you think? It could be. Bro, look at this. Look at these ships. <laughs> it's over, bro. <laughs> it's over. I'm sorry. People. When I'm done. Flashback scene. Obviously. Yeah. Back on Titan. I think the story they're going with is the other comic book where Thanos was born different. Because remember the Titans, on Titan, all of them, they were like really good looking, super, or, or, you know, like really good people. And Thanos was the only one born looking like that. And in the story, in that specific comic book, he was exiled or not not exiled. He was treated like, like scum because he just looked abnormal. Mm Mm-hmm. And he grew up, and then, like, his friends died, and then he became sinister. And, like, his family died and stuff. And they said Titan was destroyed, which caused them to be completely mad. And the thing is, balancing the universe, he uses that a lot. Especially in the film where he says um, fun isn't one, uh, isn't something one considers when balancing the universe. In his mind, he is trying to destroy half of the galaxy to let another side live. He believes the balance in the galaxy by destroying half of the galaxy and letting the other one live. So in his mind, he's doing a good thing. But he's not. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> he's trashing people. He's had a horrible, like, horrible life. Like, even from the jump, his mother tried to kill him with yeah, a knife. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. That, but they gave him more humanity in this movie, I can tell. Compared to Infinity Gauntlet, because in this story, this man is a pure savage. This man is a hopeless romantic, giving a whole bunch of corny romance poems to death. Honestly, that's what he is. He is just killing people just because he's trying to impress death. He ain't trying to do anything else. He's just trying to imp- impress the goddess of death. And the only way to do that, she knows she's the goddess of death. Literally. How do you impress the goddess of death? Killing mad people. So... That's the only thing, and I like this. That's his only motive for actually getting the the gauntlet, because he's just trying to get with death. And at the end, it's weird. At the end of um, which I, which is why I feel like they're gonna set Hela is not dead. Yeah. Is because at the end of um of the unworthy Thor comic book, Hela actually 
kissed Thanos. They kissed in the comic books. Right. So I was like, okay, well, she's going to be death in the MCU. Yeah. They might do that. Well, isn't she? she well, yeah, well, well, she's yes. gonna, well, she's gonna be the death replacement as far as like, instead of having the actual mistress death, right? She's she gonna be the goddess of death for the MCU, which I think everybody sh is thinking that right now. It's not any breakthrough oh, yeah. news, but everyone's definitely thinking that. <laughs> oh, I froze. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Got to refresh the page. Naza! Naza! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Had to refresh. We were about here. When I'm done. Baby Gamora! Oh, my gosh. She is so dope. Oh, my gosh. Look how big his hand is. Do you feel as if Gamora is going to have some type of remorse as far as trying to kill Thanos because somewhere deep down in her heart this man is still her father. Right. Even though he legit killed her parents and <laughs> just took her in. Mm -hmm. This guy is like a father figure to her. Right. Either way, he was never violent towards her. He treated her as his daughter. Even though he had her do some pretty messed up stuff. But Which is an understatement. Under, understatement, exactly. <laughs> but do you feel like Gamora's going to have some type of resentment or type of, uh, you know? Mm, I don't think so. Maybe, but, like, she might talk about, like, okay, we, we need to get ri rid of him. We need to kill this man. Yeah. But, like, it's all talk until, you know, you got to walk that walk. got to walk that walk, exactly. So, I don't know. She might freeze, or she might get cold I feet. I never freeze. When the... <laughs> <laughs> Gamora, don't freeze. I never freeze. You, you Hi, freeze. Dad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? I don't know. I, I, I think it's going to be interesting to see them reunite. He, I can just see him like, Gamora, my firstborn, or something, like my child, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We know Nebula's going to be in this movie. How How is she going to react with the other siblings? Right? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's going to be... Cause she, initially, she was part of their team, though. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. She was part of their team anyway. So, how is, how is that going to happen? Good are question. they going to do, like, a Defenders thing? Where, like, Gamora's, like, explaining it. Okay, these are his children. This and Maybe. that. Maybe. I don't know. I could see that happening. I could see it. And then they're like, they get to Call of City, and he's like, oh, let's not talk about him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> let's not get to that. Look at this. Look at the rest of them. Oh, my gosh, man. We're going to get a whole, lot of, a whole lot of clean. Right? The armor mag clean. Clean, bro. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Look at baby Gamora. I can't wait to see some of Thanos' backstory. It's going to be really interesting. Why does, why does that look like a very, uh, like a Chinese monastery? It, Almost, it right? It does. Like a monk monastery. Humanity will still exist. This is the scene I'm talking about. I think this was going to happen. Either Thor is going to die or um, Loki is going to step in to sacrifice himself for his brother and Loki might die. What do you think about that? Loki would deserve it. I mean, he, he would deserve, deserve it. He been deserved it. Real, like deserve it i mean you, you help them out what did you expect you know exactly but i don't th i don't want thor to die because chris hemsworth because while wow, chris hemsworth chris hemsworth <laughs> take what like take four take four on that chris hemsworth <laughs> um he's starting to like thor now he's because has, of ragnarok yeah because exactly. he's like, uh, I don't really like Thor. He's he's kind of boring. And then after Ragnarok, Ragnarok now he loves he's like, Thor. man, I love him. He he feels like a real person. He has a personality now. Exactly. So, I don't know. It's not know. bland and Shakespearean. Oh, man. Just when you like the characters, like, the, the people just go like, Look. And bang. Look. Oh, my God. This is what has to happen, okay? Avengers must die in this movie. Oh, yeah, definitely. They have to. Because if Disney pulls off a thing because they want to keep their child audience happy, then I'm going to be pissed off. Because you need to, there needs to be some casualties. Oh, yeah. Quicksilver was a casualty, and the reason why people didn't care about him because we didn't know him too much. 
But killing one of these guys, killing Thor or Iron Man or any one of the main Avengers is going to be heartbreaking, bro. It's going to be heartbreaking because look. <laughs> That's after they beat him. Um, literally, bro. I'm trying to find a scene where like uh, in this comic books, well, Adam Warlock came in clutch at the end here. But literally, oh yeah, and that's uh, that's his brother too. That's uh, Thor's. That's me, Thor. That's um, that's his Thanos' brother. But in the comics, literally, bruh, Thanos destroyed. Yeah, and like Galactus came up in this, like the Watchers, like Galactus, all the celestial beings and gods came mm -hmm. through and was like, bruh, you got to go. Like literally. Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, he broke Cap Shield, one. Two, he literally ripped off Tony Stark's head in this comic book. He literally destroyed him. I'm trying to find it. They were all fighting him. Thor got murked. Um, I'm trying to find out where he destroyed. Okay, I think this is where he destroyed him. Silver Surfer, bruh. Ripped out his heart. Tony Stark got his head broke. Like Thanos was not playing in this comic book. Oh, I can't seem to find it. Whatever, you get the point. I was trying to find a picture to show them. But Tony Stark died. Rip RP in peace. Mm -hmm. So like it's either Thanos is either Thor dies in this or Loki sacrifices himself. He's gonna die, man. One of them is gonna die. Is um, Marvel either might do this: kill no one, kill someone, or have them die and then have Doctor Strange re like go back in time and like refix everything so that no one dies. Doctor Strange might have like uh, you know his own situation to deal with, like after. I don't. Know. You think he might die? If um. I don't think he would die, but I don't think... Yeah, he's definitely not going to have that time stone to do all that. No, but what if he gets it at the end? What if um, Warlock comes in? And, cause they, they may leave the movie in a, at a huge cliffhanger where... That's a... That would be a time... Like, a huge time gap. But what if... Because... What if they kill it, They kill some characters at the end of this movie? Mm -hmm. And in the post credit scenes, you see Adam Warlock step in. In a post That's scene. a huge time gap because um, Warlock is like still like a, he's still like a what like a, a fetus or something still, like that. Still, but like remember, time works differently depending on gen on, on, on in you know different realities, different uh, t points in space time. So time works differently depending on where you. Because like on Earth, you remember like, you remember Interstellar. You ever seen Interstellar? Mm -hmm. a t you remember they were on that planet. They spent an hour on there and eleven years passed True. by. So, like, you never know. I mean, all this time it could be, like, a couple years, but really and truly, like, 30, 40 years pass mm -hmm. by where um, uh, Warlock is actually being thing. I remember, like, he's being machined, though. True. So, I mean, anything could happen. He can still pop in at the last moment, and then they leave us on a, all on a big cliffhanger where we think everybody's dead, and in the next movie, somehow, you know, he steps in and helps defeat Thanos, and then... Um, then they grab that, that time stone and Doctor Strange and brings everybody back. I feel Disney might do some crap like that. <laughs> or, another theory going around is that Tony Stark might actually sacrifice himself to save Peter Parker. Mm hmm So that, because remember, he's already signed up for Homecoming 2. Right. Or, not Homecoming, I think it was, it's not Homecoming 2, but Sp uh, his Spider movie, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. His, so he's already signed on for another one of those. And he's going to appear in a Venom movie. That's Peter Parker. That's confirmed. So, Tony Stark might sacrifice himself to save Peter. I feel like that, that might happen. I feel like it's and it's noble. Time, um, in trailer one, where you see uh, Thanos pin like Peter down. Exactly. Right I think there. it's going to be at that time. That's what I'm thinking, too. That's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> who, who, who else is there we can identify? Let's see. Proxima Midnight. Okay. So, obviously, they turned on Loki. He gives he gives him the Tesseract, and they turn on him. You can see it. Mm 
Mm-hmm. Proxima Midnight has the staff aimed right. at Loki. So this might be a scene, like I said, where he's killing Thor, and Loki's like, wait, steps in, saves the day. I don't know. Obviously, the god of mischief should have not been tricked this easy. He should have known. He should have known. Because, mm-hmm. look, they already got him on lock. But is it really him, though? Is it really him? Yeah, yeah, that remember is true. Remember in part two? Yeah, 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 I do remember. I do remember. I do remember. I, I keep forgetting he can make doppelgangers of himself, like holograms. Man. Ooh. Woo! I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I saw that helmet going out of like 100 bucks, bro. Cause it had light, it had the blue light, the purple lights, and everything. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was legit. Oh man! All the shields, they probably like. <sighs> this reminds me of Attack of the Clones, when they all had that shield. I don't know if you saw Attack of the Clones, mm-hmm. um, but they all had the shield up, and Jar Jar people had that shield up, and this, this kind of reminds me of that. But I can't wait! I can't wait! Do you think this is the final battle, or if, or it might be the battle before the final battle? Um, it might be the final battle. Could be, that's what I'm thinking. Because if that's like a... Um, a big thing. A mid-battle, that's like... Can you imagine the final battle? Right? If there is a final battle? Right? Or is it like just a whole bunch of... They're like, definitely sequences. leaving us on a cliffhanger for this. Oh, yeah. That is, that, that's a fact. They're leaving us on a cliffhanger. Definitely. They're definitely leaving us on a cliffhanger. I mean, come on. Um, this I thought was cool. Doctor Strange using, helping out Peter Quill, helping mm-hmm. Star Lord, walking us. Cause I'm like, Star Lord can't do that. Perfectly balanced. I just thought that was cool. As all things should be. Could this be a nightmare? Oh could this be a spiritual realm kind of thing? It could. It maybe they're be. in. Maybe they're in a the spiritual realm. I don't know. But like, Ebony Ma is like, it's like doing acupuncture on Doctor Strange. Could this be very he, intense acupuncture? Could you? You're right. Could you? Do you think this is where he dies? This could be where he dies, or he's just like, is just interrogate him about the time stone. Yeah. Where is it? Or he just, like, reaches into his, like, clothes, snatches uh-huh. it from his neck. Snatches neck-. it, yep. But it's just so sinister. He's just like, shh. Just give me the stone. Just, just give me the shh. Just give me the stone. We ain't got to shh. Ah! Man, Ebony Ma really trying to be Voldemort bad. Please. Like, <laughs> Man, I was like, shh. Don't scream me. You don't have to do that. It's going to hurt a bit, but don't scream. Shh, you're a big boy. They, that's where he turns into Hulk. Yeah, it could be. It could be. I hope they re- Man, I hope they remember you. Do you think he's talking to Tony Stark here? Yes. Where he says, I hope they remember you. Because that's, that's something only someone says when they're about to kill you. And so far, I think, well, aside from, like, Steve Rogers, I mean, aside from Cap, um, Tony Stark is the only person that's, like, really known in the world. Yeah. Really? Because he did come out and say, yeah, yeah I, am I am Iron Man. Iron Man. Exactly. So, I think it'll be him. And he's, like, one of the, like, cornerstones of the Avengers. Exactly. So, I believe so. I believe that, that he's talking to Tony. I hope they remember you. Yo, this is like a this is like a vacation. Like Thanos is not even fully. He doesn't even have his full armor on. He's just chilling. Right. Like Matt's like, man, let me go to vacation right quick. Mm-hmm. Get this stuff. Go home. You know, go about my day. Like this man is not even phased. He's chilling with the gauntlet and arm. Right. <laughs> and the ending scene where Cap lifting the fingers up, that definitely happened before this scene. Yeah. Because look at the day. Look at the time of the day. It's all cloudy, it's all dark, it's all... And obviously that happened in the jungle scene earlier when they were running. Mm-hmm. So, I'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Could that be, like, yeah... I think they're on the here. Final, yeah, the final scene. Yeah, this could be around towards the end of the... 
Damn, his nano armor suit, bro. His armor, his armor is destroyed. Jeez. Dang, like, that's crazy. I think they added that part out, too, because I think Tony is, like, he's got some blood on his face. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Cuts all over his face, all of that. Of course. Of course, for sure. This definitely. scene. This scene was definitely earlier. Mm-hmm. Look at him. He's intense. And you can tell Cap is using his full strength here. Mm-hmm. He's going all out here. Right? Sounds is like, are you really? Oh, were? Really? He actually trying this. <laughs> like, really? Wow. This is just one art. Really? Really? Seriously. I see you looking at him. Like, you can see him struggling a bit. Like, mm-hmm. But what if he's doing that to mock him? Because I'm feeling like Thanos is that guy, though. Thanos is that guy where, like, you're you're doing that to him. He's going to be like, <laughs> like, like, a little smile. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. No. That's something I expect from Ultron to do. <laughs> right? Like... right? Exactly. My thing, my answer to all this, this specific scene here, my answer to this is this, Okay. I think, and I heard uh, someone talking about this in a video last night. My, my answer is this, man. It's simple. And what, what business does Cap have touching Thanos' arm like that? That's not supposed to happen. But, however, Thanos is that guy that's going to play around with you. He's going to... Death is a fun thing to him. It's a fun game. Mm-hmm. It's funny. He finds joy in killing people. That's just a fun... It's just, like, fun. It's like him just going around, just having, having a joy ride. So... It's like, you know what? Let me see what these Earthlings got. Let me see what they got. He put his arm down. He stops him. He's like, oh, someone with potential. Very similar to how Steppenwolf was like, oh, finally, someone who doesn't whine. It's like, then the example I heard the guy talk about last night. Imagine, okay, I do arm wrestling you, right? Right? And instead of me going down there, right? Mm-hmm. You Like, use your force, right? I'm just like, hanging here, like, whatever. And then, like, boom. And you just go down and beat you. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing here. Like, let me just test this guy real quick, see what he got. Okay, he's actually straight. No, no. He's <laughs> him up to the side. Like, no. She thought this was, bro. Remember Thanos. Black Lightning? Ah, uh, we're. Like, finally, a brother with some heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> finally, a brother, a brother with, with some, some heart. heart. <laughs> that's exactly what's going on here. Y'all think Cap is about to win this arm battle with, with Thanos? He's only using one arm. He's only using one arm. You think, Thanos, you think Cap is really, I love Cap. That's my guy. But you really think he about to beat the... He thinks and he really think he about to beat something. That's just the hand. The hand with the power stone. But I admire... Exactly. I admire, though. I admire um, Cap's willpower. Oh, yeah. And that's why I was screaming so much in the reaction. I'm like, Cap, don't give up. He never gives up. He, he will use all of his last strength to try to bring you down. It's a, did he, like, slap Galactus in the face or something like that? Uh, who? Cap. Slap who? Some, he, I think he slap who Galactus? Like, like right before Galactus, like like just like got rid of him. I, I think he rem- like I just. I can't remember slapped. that, boy. I can't remember. I'm not something that up. like that. I'm I think he's. I don't know if it's Galactus. I might be wrong, but he slapped someone across the face, and like they just like it killed him. It could have been Thanos. Could have been Thanos. I don't know. It could it's be him. one of those like big like really like heavy hitting like villains. Yeah. Like Avengers villains, so look, you think he just slaps somebody across the face this and they scene, like, just look, kill This them. scene, you think this scene is you think this scene is intense? It's only gonna last like two seconds. He's gonna have his arm down and Thanos is gonna be like, "Man, fling him across there like a little weed." Come on, Cap is strong, but you telling me if nah, if bro. if Thanos can get the God of Thunder to cry? Bruh, that's Come saying something, now. bro. I mean, the thing is, the thing about Cap is that his strength is, is not really defined because a lot of his strength is not from his actual strength. Because in the comic books, he is worthy of the hammer. And the recent uh, uh, Secret Empire run, which I kind of got boring after a while, but in the comics where uh, we actually was revealed that Cap was actually Hydra. And he had, it was he was too OP. Like, he had Milner, bruh. Like, he had Milner. I was like, bro, you don't have to be good to be worthy, by the way. But we saw that Cap was worthy. He started to lift Milner in Avengers. Remember that's that one funny mm-hmm. scene? 
in the age of Ultron, he's like, only those who are worthy can lift wield the hammer. Mm-hmm. And then the Thor's all like, <laughs> right? He lifts the hammer up. And even in the comics, too, I, I did, I think uh, Cap a- actually was able to wield uh, the gauntlet, too, with the Infinity Stones. And you know they say only a certain bo- a person's body can handle that amount of power, or is they'll explode? Yeah. Because Star-Lord so, barely could one, hold one. 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 And he was he almost exploded. Five almost. of them could exactly. barely hold one. Exactly. And the only reason why he didn't even die that quickly is because he was half half alien or whatever. You want to yeah. call it that. He wasn't all human because it's that ego. All right. So my thing is, look, Cap is strong. This scene ain't lasting long. There's no, you're not gonna body Thanos like that. It's, you might be strong, but your scene ain't gonna last long. <laughs> <laughs> It might be strong, but you see it ain't gonna last long. <laughs> it's not. It's really not. Like, don't don't think people are getting too mad about people are getting mad about this. Why is Cap? Why the heck is Cap holding Thanos' hand like that? He ain't got no business. Chill. It's like, just for the trailer. It's for the trailer. It's like, just for the trailer. Come on, you, you're not best in Thanos like that. That is the Thanos, the Mad Titan. There's no way that's going down like that. Do you that. think this is like Cap's like this scene right here? You think this is Cap's final scene? Could be. It very well could be. Like, this is his last, like, his Thanos last leave, Thanos leaves no witnesses. He leaves nobody alive. No, it's, this might be it. This might be the end. And I, I can picture Thanos doing something like, Oh, I admire your spirit, kid. <laughs> Boom! Smash. Dead. Oh. So funny, Thanos is like, oh. Finally, your brother with some heart. <laughs> that would be mad He's funny. Doing this is like, that would be so funny. Well, watch Cap say, like, I could do this all day. Yeah, like, yeah, right? I could do this all day. It's so funny. He's like, I could do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's so funny, bro. Yeah. That would be so funny. Because it's either that this is going to be his last scene in, like, the MCU or... Or like until like but he shows up in Avengers four though, but he yeah. has he has on his old suit from Avengers movies. So I think that could be a flashback scene or something. Could be a flashback scene. Um, who knows what could happen? Like it could be his final scene, or I I feel as though someone has to like intervene. This part right here could be. I'm like, this guy give give the brother some help, please. Yeah, help him out. Help, help me. him out. Exactly. Help me, <laughs> ninja. <laughs> I think it, it, it could be one of those things where, like, it could be one of those things where, like, Hulk come Hulk just comes through and just tries to like run through Thanos. Mm-hmm. The thing is, Thanos is like a truck, bro. Thanos gonna hold him back with his other hand, just like. <laughs> you know, you know, you know those movies. You know those movies where like they're holding the kid on the head and he's like running towards you. Right. It could be one of those. He's like Thanos is that he is that guy. He is that guy. Okay. The only person that I know that can really take him down like that is. That Galactus, he's a planet destroyer. Mm-hmm. But like, even you tell me, Black Bolt, Black Bolt was mouth. bodied by Thanos. Did he like co- cover his mouth? Like, yeah, he, he was, was like, stop. shut up. <laughs> he was like, shut up. Boom. No, no gauntlet, nothing. No, and that was without a gauntlet. No gauntlet, nothing. It was like, shut up. Exactly. My thing is, it's like this, right? It's like, even a, like you have Black Bolt. A character that can destroy an entire planet just by whispering. This man can go, a planet is destroyed, bro. And this man, Black Bolt, was screaming in Thanos' mm-hmm. face. All it did was tear off his clothes. That's Not even it. a scratch. Not even a scratch on his skin. This man walked up to him and was like, shut up. Did he blink? <laughs> man didn't even blink. <laughs> man was like, shh. What? Shut up! Like yelling at my face for it. Like, I want your hot breath blowing up on me. <laughs> Heck, you doing? Heck, you think this is? Nah, nah. Don't y'all don't worry about this scene. This scene is temporary. It's not gonna last forever. It's not gonna last long. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. <laughs> oh, you're using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Bruh, Spidey was in- 
<laughs> yep. The extra legs gonna pop up there. What? The extra legs. <laughs> yes. They're gonna pop. Oh up no! It there. is. It is. It is. Look. That could be it. That could be it. I don't know. Let's see. That could be it. That could be it. What were you trying to tell me when we were outside? Okay. Well, so my friend, um, I don't know if he'll watch this video, but if he does, um, MTW um, or MWTDE. Yeah, MWTDE. He, we, we talk when we see each other, you know, at a computer lab. And he's telling me, look, all the villains in the MCU are bald. All of them. All of them are bald. No. Uh, nine, nine times out of ten, if you see a villain in the MCU, they are bald. Not all of them. Not all yeah, of them. nine times out of ten, though. Loki's not bald. Loki, yeah, Loki's Killmonger's not bald. Killmonger's not bald. Um, Baron Zemo wasn't bald either. He had, like... Yeah, he, he had a little... Wait, co- wait, he, wait, wait, no, no. Baron Zemo was talking about some, Yeah, I was talking about somebody else. I thought you meant Strucker. But, like... Um, who else? But, like... Red Skull was bald. Most of them were bald. Thanos is bald. Thanos is bald. Um, the villain from um, the villain from uh, from Iron Man Two was not bald though. Iron Man, yeah. Um, I keep forgetting him. Venko, Ivan. Venko? Ivan, yeah. yeah. Ivan um, wasn't bald. Obadiah was bald. Obadiah was bald. Yeah. Darren Cross was bald. Um, but who who um, Malekith wasn't bald though. Malekith, yeah. The forgotten villain. <laughs> Thor: The Dark World. We don't talk about him. We don't talk about Malekith. <laughs> But like, but the majority of the villains are bald, for no reason. I, I, yeah, just, just I mean, bald. a good majority of them. I mean, they're just they're just bald. Yeah, Thanos bald. Hey, bald is in fashion, bro. For villains, for most of the villains, Red Skull was bald. Red Skull was bald. I'm trying to think, um, Ultron, you can't classify as yeah, bald. Yeah, can't. He's a robot. Really, yeah. <laughs> I mean. Iron Man 3 Mandarin, which they completely made a joke of. I can't oh, believe they did God. that. Like, <sighs> he could have been... Well, you know what? We're not going to talk about Mandarin. Because that had, that had the potential to be a very great Mandarin. He looked like him in everything. Like, But I understand why they did well, that. I don't that, understand but... why they did it. It was pure trash. They shouldn't have done it. I understand why they did it. Because really? of, like, racial things. Yeah, but the Mandarin was Chinese, though. I know, but... How's that like, be a racial thing if he was but, actually Chinese, though? I know, but, like, there was, like... They were talking about there was, like, some racial things that would have been, like, brought up in Arm, uh, Iron Man 3 that they didn't think was going to be suitable, you know? But all they have to do was just but, change the dialogue. I know, but... Change the screenplay, like... He didn't have to go all in with it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to see what else. Anything from from else in this trip? Oh, Soul Stone is in Wakanda. That's my theory. I believe the Soul the Soul Stone is in Wakanda. I believe it's there. Just looking at how mystical this place is, is without a doubt that I think it's there. Where do you think it is? Be there. Where, where do you think it is though? It's if not in Wakanda, it's uh, with Adam. Yeah. But it, I I think for like this. Uh, for Avengers Infinity War, it might be in Wakanda. Otherwise, like, what's the point of going exactly. there in the first place? Exactly. What's the point he of that He says big we battle? have what he needs. We know he gets Vision Stone. Mm-hmm. He will get it. He will get the Mind Stone. That's a fact. Doctor Strange Stone, that's easy. He, what's his name? Um, uh, Thanos doesn't even need to go there himself to get it. No. <laughs> he don't even need to go there. So he's already getting that. That's easy. Time Stone is easy. The Soul Stone, that's the one. I think Wakanda might have it. Otherwise, what's well, the point of having that big battle? Exactly. I think it's in Wakanda. Because why would they all be going to Wakanda if it wasn't there? Sending the whole army there just for a couple of stones? Right. Nah. Sending send, uh, Thanos' whole army just for two for two stones? No. He could send in three people and get it. Mm-hmm. Easy. The whole army? Nah, the Soul Stone there. Soul Stone is there. That's the most important one. Mm-hmm. But I, once you have that, you control everybody's life. <laughs> Bruh. Their entire life. Nah, the Soul Stone is there. 
I believe it's there. Um, we discussed who we think is going to die. Do you think... How many Avengers do you think will actually die, though? We know Black Widow is not dying. But then again, we don't know because we know she's getting a solo movie, but yeah, we don't know at what point it's taking place. It could be a prequel. I don't think they would do that. That would be messing with but our they're, feels, but they're do, But they're doing that for Captain Marvel, though. But then the again, we don't know her. Though. But if we see her die, like, in, like, their present day. And then, yeah, like, and then see her. Nah, that would suck. I would not even want to watch it. I would not want to watch it. The feels. Oh, man. I'm hoping he won't die. Ooh. You know who I'm talking about. I don't know. I don't know if he'll show up in here, but um, Hawkeye. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring that up. You see, yo, I forgot to bring that up. I was like, let me bring up your boy. Let me bring him. up your boy Hawkeye. Yeah, we didn't see Hawkeye in this. We didn't see Hawkeye in this. He, why wasn't he in the trailer? And why wasn't he? Why he's not even on the poster, bro? You saw what you saw what Stephen Amell yeah. said on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's hard. It's hard out here for archers. Yeah. <laughs> and then Boss Logic made a. You saw the Boss Logic uh, picture. Which one? Uh, with Hawkeye? Was it the cover photo for... I'll show you. you probably seen it, but I'll show the, you. It was like a magazine? It, no, it was the... Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you. Uh, I think my friend sent it to me. I don't know, but he also sent this to me. Damn. Oh. In, the, in the Logan style? <laughs> Let me see. He sent it to me. Uh, That's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> He's made a poster and just put and just put Hawkeye in all of it. Oh my gosh! Cause like where, like why Hawkeye was not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me. What's the, <laughs> what's the caption on that? <laughs> you think you can <laughs> Nah, I gotta I gotta insert the photo out here. I gotta put the photo away. <laughs> oh my gosh! Put it closer. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Boss logic too much. Hold on, I gotta show y'all. Easy. Nigga. <laughs> 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That's too much, man. That's too much. <laughs> that is too much. Oh my it's gosh. It's hard out here. It's hard out here in these streets, bro. But why he, wasn't he in the promotions, though? Do you think they got something really special for Hawkeye? They probably... Well, he did say he doesn't mind getting his like his own like show or movie or whatever. And there has to be a reason why he has that new hairdo. Mm. There has to be a reason. Unless it's like... Oh, no, there has to be a reason why he has that... Is that a mohawk that he has? <laughs> I'm done with these memes. I'm sorry. I'm done with these memes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh I'm so done I'm really oh done with this. this is this is just too much <laughs> did, did he, did he? <laughs> oh man I'm so done bro now I think I think <laughs> I think I was done with these memes when by the time I saw the uh the Stephen Amell one bro when I saw the Stephen Amell one I was done with life I was ultimately done. I was like, wow, okay. Did Renner reply? I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody was doing it to me. <laughs> Let me see. We go to Stephen Amell's page. Because I saw it. Let me see. There has to be a reason why he has that new haircut. Maybe just to give him a style, bro. Like, no. I am not accepting. I will not accept Wait, but he said, he said, he said fixed. <laughs> when he re- when he replaced it, it's so funny. Always said it's hard, it's hard out here, and then someone said, uh, someone said, um, gotta find the thread. You th- they said how it was a fold out poster, and we didn't see the rest. <laughs> <laughs> they said it was a fold out poster, and then someone was like, so I was like, no, it's not done yet. They were like, no, 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 it's a fold out poster, but it's not completed. But what if that like it says the full completion. <laughs> oh god the fold up poster I'm so, these memes bro these memes too much the one but, with the, the one with the god's plan one that's the one that's the one that got me that's the one that got me but, but what if though but what if 
he is like that one person that they have to like save everybody. But if he's that like that one person, if he's that guy, I'm gonna be pissed off. I mean, think about it. Like Hawkeye's not Avengers, that guy, bro. Avengers one, it was like it was kind of, kind of, sort of like. It kind of sort of went, you know, mainly about him. I mean, yeah, of course, yeah. he was mind-controlled and stuff. Avengers 2, that was Hulk and Hawkeye's movie. No question about that. It was. It was. I give so it to So, could they be... Is that a pattern that they're... Maybe. I don't know. But they're making? I don't know. I just want to know why he's out from the marketing. <laughs> I'm just saying, there, ha- there has to be something. I mean, they could have slipped him in on the, pic- on the poster. Like, even, even War Machine getting more screen time. Like... Even War Machine, bruh, getting more... Sh- even War Machine's on the poster, and I bet you mm-hmm. he's not going to be in the movie that much. Nope. Not at all. Is Falcon on the poster? Yeah, he's on the poster. Falcon, Even Falcon on the poster, too, but Falcon's kind of important on... You know. Let me see. Hey, let's see... See, everybody else but Hawkeye... It's gonna feel like civil <clears throat> war for Hawkeye. I don't see. I don't see. Okay, yeah, I see Falcon. Yeah, even Falcon in the cut. Like they could have mm-hmm. put Hawkeye even in the Nebula cut. in the cut. Even Nebula in the cut. She's not even in the trailers. She in the cut. What's his name? Um, Ant Man is not in this. Ant Man. And we yeah. know his movie is gonna be a prequel. Right. It's gonna be like oh four months ago, or something like that. I bet you the movie's gonna end with how it ended in Infinity War. I mean, the movie's gonna start with how it ended in Infinity War, mm-hmm. but it might say four months ago or something like that. Right. And I believe the end of, of Ant-Man is going to connect to the next Infinity War. So, obviously, you have to watch it because it's going to continue. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Are we missing anything else to talk about in this, on this, in this video? Um, I might have one thing. How are the Netflix shows going to re... Well, like, the characters. Mm. The, the Defenders, pretty much. How are they going to react to all of this? Because this, Infinity War does take place in New York. Because Doctor Strange is like places Some of it. like in New York. Yeah, but the and, ending and boss Spider-Man's, battle might, might be like, in Wakanda though. Yeah, it's gonna be in Wakanda definitely, but there's a there's a chunk of it that's gonna take place in New York. I yeah. mean, like, are they gonna like finally say, you know, besides like Avengers like one, what happened in Manhattan? Are they gonna finally acknowledge like okay, you know, there's been some crazy stuff that's happened. Yeah. You know. Okay, let's let's talk about this real quick. You know what I mean? They have let's referenced, talk. like, the New York incident or what happened in New York. They yeah, have, but they barely, have referenced but they, but they made they it referenced seem it a little like, bit, though. But they made it seem like, okay, l- they made it seem like it was no biggie. Because yeah. you see the other shows. You see Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, and, like, um, yeah, Iron Fist. Even Daredevil, they, like... The, like these people are explaining their their powers, and everybody else is thinking, okay, this is like completely weird. Like yeah. even you'll see it in Jessica Jones too. There's a part of it, and she's like, okay, this is completely weird. First of all, you have powers. Second of all, did you forget what happened in Manhattan, in yeah. the heart of Manhattan? Okay, th- and this is the weirdest thing that you've seen. Come on now, come on now. Like aliens coming from the sky wasn't weird. exactly you can see that all over. But you're going to focus on, like, these people having powers, really? Yeah. And this is all weird and new to you? Come on You should now. know this by now. You should know Spider-Man this Spider-Man is up in Queens, just around the corner from you. Right? You should hurt. You should... Look, and I know this, because, like, we live we live in the New York area, bro. I'm in New York all the time, right? I used... To, like, I, wa- I tell some people, I walk streets in Harlem, Queens, Brooklyn, throughout Manhattan, everywhere. That's why I like Luke so much, because all the locations in Harlem was places that I've actually been to. Like, the streets and stuff, which is really cool. It looks like it. But I'm like, you in New York. Word spreads fast in New York. If mm-hmm. something happened in Brooklyn, you're going to hear about it in Harlem. If you hear from another, if you hear something going on in another country. Exactly. You're definitely going to hear it in New York. But I'm trying to say, but, like, in New York, you hear everything. Like, look, you can be in Queens and know what's going on in Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. You can be in Brooklyn and know what's going on in Spanish Harlem. You know what I'm saying? You can know what you can know what's happening everywhere. Like board tribe, especially some if there's like superhumans in your city. Mm-hmm. You hear there's a Spider Man in Queens. You are gonna hear about that in Manhattan. You're gonna hear that in and uh, hear uh, hear about that in uh, in the East Village, bro. You are gonna hear that everywhere. It's, uh, that's Are a little they weird to finally me. Finally, gonna acknowledge that big ring, like in the sky. Mm, Come exactly. on now, exactly. 
Exactly. Like, it's so funny. It's so crazy. And Jessica Jones lived near the Hell's Kitchen area. Mm-hmm. Okay? And that's why I like Daredevil, too. Hell's Kitchen looks exactly like that. It's so cool. But um, Hell's Kitchen, around there where Daredevil is, is like, okay, you... Because I know the first episode, the guy was like, oh, you're one of them. Like, what do you mean you're one of them? They've been around for years now. Exactly. What do you mean, oh, you're one of them? You should have seen... You should have known this by now. Daredevil's been running around for a minute. Exactly. You should know this by now. Not even them. Hulk. All right? Iron Man. I'm pretty sure you've seen the news. Mm -hmm. CNN. It was up on CNN on Avengers movie. <laughs> exactly. Right? Come on, bro. You should know this by now. They interview people about this, like... Yeah, exactly. Well, they had people, Stan Lee, people, like, <laughs> as the yeah, right? person they were interviewing. People were getting but... Captain America tattoos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Thor, on. I love you. All yeah. That. What? Come on now. And then, and then, and then how, how did... Uh, okay. How? Because, um... Doctor Strange lives in, lives in the village. He lives in Greenwich Village, right? Mm -hmm. So, you tell me how... Well, in, in the MCU... So you tell me when Thor ended up in Greenwich Village, these two girls walk by, and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, Jane dumped you. They recognize Thor. Bruh. That's probably the errors that they have in Netflix. That's probably the errors that they have. I'm just looking for, like, that tie-in. Like, I just, because I've been watching, like, the Netflix shows yeah. over it, and I'm like, wait a minute. There's oh. not, like, there hasn't been that solid tie-in yet. Exactly. Really. I mean, besides just like references, Luke Cage, though. Besides Luke Cage, like, um, you had that kid that had like the tapes and stuff, mm. like had like all the footage and stuff. Mm. But like, other than that, there hasn't been like a solid tie-in. So yeah. like, okay, all this has happened in the M like in like all the movies, but you don't acknowledge this in the shows. I I don't understand. I don't get it. Like. The invasion in Manhattan, exactly, DC, exactly, all of them like exactly. what the helicarriers that exactly. just got demolished in <laughs> exactly, DC. Exactly, exactly. You don't acknowledge all of it, right? Any of that? Like how much is Fist is paying to like control that media? Exactly. If that's good. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> they really they are really trying to control that. Punishers around, like how you not notice? How how do you? And not he not notice? even a, he he not even a, a superhuman. Mm -mm. It's ridiculous, man. But anything else on the show that we forgot to talk about? Um, I mean, I think we talked about everything that we could think of right for now. Let's see. Um, there's pretty much, yeah, there's nothing else, really. The only thing we can just talk about is just theories, and I think we just co covered the main ones. Do you, yeah, Thor's hammer. Thor's hammer. Actually being there, if he has a hammer mm -hmm. there. Um, Where's the soul stone? Who's dying? Soul stone. Um, dying? Iron spider suit. Uh, the Captain and Thanos, Captain versus Thanos, mm -hmm. um, Ebony Maw, Doctor Strange. He might be our fa He might be my favorite child after this movie. Ebony Maw. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just because like, of the shh. It only hurts a little bit. It's, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Shh. He's like shh. No, 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 no. There's no need. Don't cry. Where is he doing that? Right. That's a, like telling where him to shh. Yeah. Like where is? He? Yeah, right? Where is that happening? Shh. Imagine if it's like some big gigantic library just doing that. Just, right? Yeah, just that'd be so funny. If I'm to a library and it's like, and every, yeah, yeah, and everybody's reading. He's just like, shh, come on. You're, 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 you're disrupting the guests. <laughs> <laughs> like, people are trying to educate themselves. Read. Read. Okay. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I don't know. I think, we, I think we pretty much touched base on it. Loki's betrayal and death. I think he's um, gonna die. You think Hell is gonna be in it? Oh yeah, the Silver Surfer theory. Could Silver Surfer be in this? Mm -hmm. You never know. I think that would be a jaw dropping moment if all he just sees that silver board flying through. You know how I me? Mean? No, I don't want to go. Now, if he's in it and they don't show it in the trailers, I do not want to go within the first two weeks. Okay? Cause Why? I because if he does show up and it's a surprise. Everybody is gonna be so shook and screaming in my ear. I don't want that. Okay, I don't. I don't Bruh, need that. I don't care. I'm I going opening that. day. You know me no, already. You I know, know how you're I going be. Opening. You day. know how I be. But I do not want that. I'm gonna wait it out a little bit. Like if how he, can you wait, uh, bro? How can I don't you wait? Want to. I don't understand. I don't, I don't like, want to, guys. This is Phil. Phil. Phil would wait 
fill a wait like two weeks. I want to go a theater alone. to be empty. I want to go alone for him to go. I want to hear everything. I don't want to hear no teenagers that are talking about why why Thanos doing that. Why why Call of City is so big. Yeah, why but, he child. But why, sometimes you get he, sometimes you get I lucky don't. though. I don't no, I don't want that. I was lucky with Black Panther, but like Bruh. the other movies, no, no. You gotta pick the right theater, bro. <sighs> pick the right seats. Go with people you know. So it's like, I do. I get bullied into going, and I'm like, <laughs> see, this is why I don't go with you people, bro. Bro, come on. You have to. You have to. Come on. It's opening, d- bro. I know, but it's like... Let me I open can, my I app right now. It. Let's go to my theater. Watch. There's going to be no tickets. Of course, this is going to be packed. Look, they already they already blew out... Uh, they already blew out uh, Black Panther's uh, ticket sale record in six hours. Mm-hmm. What's, what does that say? We barely even got our tickets when we paid for them through Fandango. Bruh. But I, I, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going like opening. Nah, week. you I'm tripping. Go. Nah, I'm go. nah. I'm gonna catch Phil. the first show of Regals 10 a.m. on a Monday. Nah, you, you can't. What? Phil, watch. Phil, watch, watch. All right, well, when you when, when are you going? Let me count you, cause you know I gotta go on my third, my second, third, fourth viewing. I'm gonna be up ten. I'm gonna catch the first show on uh, a Monday morning. I'm going 7 p.m. IMAX 2D, cause I kind of got over 3D. I kind of got over 3D. I'm not really a big fan of IMAX 3D no more, to be honest. IMAX 2D. One ticket, bro. Watch. Let's see. Let's see. Is it already sold out? Oh, boy. Should. One. <laughs> Two seats. Let's see. Barely. Do you see the blue? Do you see the blue? We bought our tickets. We're sitting right. We're sitting like right here. Mm-hmm. No, no, we're sitting like actually in the middle. We're sitting in the middle, like right here. Okay. Look at all the blue seats. Ain't nobody want to sit here. Nope. Guys, look at this. This is the this is my theater for my for the seven o'clock viewing on Thursday night, opening night, the day before twenty seven. All the gray is what's taken. The blue is what's available. Do you guys see this? This is pre ticket sales, bro. <laughs> this theater is packed. This theater is packed. There's no games in this movie, bro. There's no games. And as you can see, before I did my reaction, I bought my tickets. I was like, wait, I saw in the bottom in the description box, there's like tickets on sale. I was like, nope. <laughs> Mom, dad, y'all coming, right? Okay, cool. Four tickets. Let's go. Like, go to my account. This is a pleasing sight just to see this. <laughs> it is a pleasing, it's a pleasing, look, look, look how many times I saw Black Panther. Jeez. Guys, look how much times I saw Black Panther. I saw it four times, bro. Let me see. I get it focused. I saw it four times. It's a pleasing sight to see this. And then look at the top there. Avengers Infinity War. Four tickets. Already booked. Ready to go, bro. We lit. I'm telling you. No games. No games. You're lucky this is not a live stream. Someone will comment. Let me see that barcode real quick. You're right. <laughs> I gotta be sure that, no, that's why I didn't open it. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my theater and use it. But anyway, man, I think we covered everything. This, I think we covered everything that, that needs to be talked about for now. If we, um, for, if we missed out anything, you watched all the way far. That means uh, you actually watched the whole video. So. I got one. Yeah, what's up? Do you think it would do better than Black Panther? Absolutely. You think so? Yes. Okay. Yes, because Black Panther did this. Black Panther was a cultural movement. It was a movement for black people and for Marvel fans who don't care about, you know, they're not racist people. They just like Marvel movies. Right. They just like movies. They go go watch. They enjoy themselves. So for MCU fans, true MCU fans went out to watch this movie. And a lot, you had a lot of black people, especially a lot of people who don't watch, even not not just black people, but a lot of people who don't even watch comic book movies that came to watch this movie. Mm Mm-hmm. So it, it it was it, it broke it broke records, but you see, this is Infinity War. You have Black Panther coming up in this movie. Mm-hmm. A lot of people who saw Black Panther are gonna want to see him again. So you already have those people coming. My sister, solely alone, is I, I I told I told somebody that oh Shuri's in this movie. Oh she okay I'm going. All they heard was Shuri and that was it. 
you know she's gonna be in it for like one scene, one or two scenes, most likely. Cause it's a whole movie. You can't have it about everything in Wakanda. Right. But look, look how fast it blew out pre-ticket sales. Faster than Black Panther. It took Black Panther about a couple of days before, for it to break that record. Infinity War broke the record in six hours. Really? Six hours. It broke its rec- It broke the record. People are going to see this movie every week, every day. It's going to be four or five. I think it's going to break because I think the budget for both movies were one billion dollars combined. So it's definitely going to break the one billion dollar. Uh, this is my yeah. prediction. I think it. I think Infinity War will break one billion dollars within two weeks. That's my okay. prediction. Two weeks or less. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it because once everybody goes to see this movie. And then they like it, they're going to go see it again. They're going to bring their friends. They're going to recommend people. Everybody's going to come see it. Every day, theaters going to be packed out. I guarantee you. Because for Black Panther, almost every day, theaters were packed out for the first two weeks. Right. When I was checking to go, you know, buy tickets and stuff. I know a guy, I know, I've, and I've met some people who, when they, when they pre-order tickets, they pre-order for the opening day, and then they pre-order for a couple of days ahead. So they would pre-order for opening night, then they would order one for the next day, then they would order one for two days later, then they would order one all in one day. I know people who do that. So I don't do that because I, I I can't predict my days, but opening night I always make it there. Right. So I, I believe it's gonna it's gonna do better than that by at least financially. It definitely will be. I thought it wasn't like I understand like they've been you know this is what they've been leading up to for ten years now. Yeah. But Half my I life. didn't think that. It would, like, surpass Black Panther. Because, like, when Black Panther, like, came... Before even Black Panther, like, came out, people, like, celebrities were, like, buying out theaters. Yeah. Buying out theaters. I don't know if they would do that for Infinity War. They might. But not, not really. But I don't think they will, and that's why I don't think that. But look like, at look at look at the celebrities. Better look than, at the uh, celebrities that were buying out te- theaters. There were a lot of people in the urban community. Right. You know what I'm saying? And... Like I said, Black Panther was a cultural thing, so you had mass people in the urban community, in the black community, in the African community, especially like in in the in Africa itself. You know, look at every, almost every country. Um, I was watching videos. I got a couple. I got a couple of friends that live over over on the continent, and uh, especially some in, in in South Africa, and they were like, "Yo, like the whole country was in on this. Everybody was in on this. So it may not be, but the thing is." There's more people around the world who care more about Infinity War than Black Panther. So you're going to have all the Black Panther fans, but you're going to have everybody else around the world. I think it's going to do better. I really do feel financially in tickets. Because look, it already did better than it in ticket sales. It already broke records in ticket sales, bro. In ticket sales. And that's pre-ticket sales. For In under six hours, and it took Black Panther three days, which is still an accomplishment. That's crazy. Yeah. But it beat Black Panther in six hours. I'm not going to say that Black Panther is going to do well because I'm black or whatever. Because I'll be biased if I do that. I'm just trying to be real with it. Because Black Panther is my favorite MCU film right now. I don't want to be biased with it. I'm just trying to be real. Infinity War has been over. It's been super hyped. I wouldn't say over hyped because the hype is justified. But super <laughs> hyped. Super justified. And people have been waiting for this thing since since we were kids watching Iron Man in the theater. I was a little boy when Iron Man came out. 2008. I was still in elementary school. Right? Was I in elementary school? I think I was getting ready to go into middle school. I think I was around middle school, maybe. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm young, not that young. young. I ain't that young. You young, young. I ain't that young. I'm 21. So we, yeah, 21. So I ain't, I ain't that young. But I was definitely in middle school when it came out. So we've been waiting for this for a long time. Mm-hmm. Especially the the older comic book fans too, who've been reading the books and been waiting for Thanos to be shown. Because at, at the time, I didn't know too much about Thanos or his threats. Right. It's only like. Then, like, two year, two or three years ago was when I really started to pick up on Thanos and read more about him. Like, yo, this guy's crazy. I still remember the first Avengers, like, the first Avengers movie. And then people asking me, like, after they saw the movie, like, who's that Who's that guy? At yes, the, I remember. At yeah, 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 yeah. Who's that Someone guy said end? Hellboy. I'm like, fam, oh, he purple. No. Okay. Hellboy red. <laughs> he purple. Okay. The man is clearly purple. The man. The man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, like, oh, speaking of Thanos skin color, my friend sent me this meme too. He bleached. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Dylan. Dylan sent this to me, bro. Dylan was tripping with this post, bro. <laughs> Fair and lovely. <laughs> 
bro. Like, Thanos went from, like, dark purple blue to, like, a pinkish kind of color. Nah, that's... Wait. Let me see. <laughs> what? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> you get it, right? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's, that's funny. That's worse than the Scott Pilgrim vegan powers. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That is funny. That is funny. Well, that. Nah, I'm not going there, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going there. I was going to say, like, that's like Stick from, from the Netflix series. Because Stick is 90 years old and he's never, like, really, yeah, you know, yeah, had a yeah, relationship. Yeah, yeah. He cut off all ties. <laughs> So, oh, man. <laughs> I guess when you reach that extra yeah. 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Bro. But, uh, I, I think that's it for this video, though. Yeah. I think that's it for this video, man. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Y'all check out this channel. Let us know in the comments, man. If we missed anything, we've been talking for like an hour and 20 minutes. It's crazy. Jeez. Right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be a pain in the butt to edit. All around me are familiar faces. It's <laughs> cute the music. <laughs> to upload. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, the upload. Now, the upload is going to be all right, though. It's going like, to be all right? Yeah, because I got an Ethernet plugged up in there, so it's going to zoom okay. up. But all the right. rendering, oh, yeah. It's going to take me about an hour and 30 minutes to render. About. No, maybe more. Maybe like a, maybe nearly two hours. It could, it could, it could be a while. Anyways, and plus I gotta sync up the audio too. Oh yeah, and I gotta go through and actually cut it and make sure it's synced up. I'm gonna oh, get yeah. that notification at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, you know, when I do a reaction to like um like the Netflix show that Jessica Jones like, this is normally the, the amount of time that it it takes up because like an hour show plus the commentary. Right. So I'm used to editing lengthy videos. Like the Flash every week is like this long of video time, like an hour. Of video footage that I have to cut down. So I'm used to it. So yeah, but, And plus, I don't have to cut this down. All I have to do is make sure the audio linked up. Probably cut, edit out, like, maybe two parts. Mm -hmm. And that's it. The part when I went for the for the, uh, for the the comic book. <laughs> that's the only part I got to edit out. That part, and I think that's it. I think everything is just straightforward. Anyway, man, yo. That's watching. See y'all on the next one. Clockmaster. And Captain Phil. Out.